If you are looking for more information about mathematics behind patterns but math was not your favorite subject, here is a basic review for those of us who are not mathematically inclined. In this video, we are going to talk about the patterns and numbers in nature and the world. In the general sense of the word patterns, it means regular, repeated, or recurring forms or designs. We see patterns every day, from the layout of our floor tiles, designs of the skyscrapers, to the way we tie our shoelaces. Studying patterns helps students in identifying relationships and finding logical connections to form generalizations and make predictions. Let's take a look at this pattern. What do you think will be the next shape in the sequence? As you can see, first we have green triangle, blue square, green triangle, blue square, green triangle and a blue square what is the next shape in this pattern if your answer is c then you're absolutely correct very easy right now let's have the next pattern now in this pattern what you're going to do is to observe the shaded part now let's observe first the patterns of the boxes in the first column. In this one, three boxes were shaded. In this one, two boxes were shaded. In this one, one box is being shaded. Now in the second column, first, four boxes were shaded. The next one, three boxes were shaded. The next one, two boxes were shaded. Can you see the pattern now? Okay, let's answer the third column. First, five boxes were shaded. Second, four boxes were shaded. What do you think is the next pattern? To answer that, you must observe the pattern or the relationship from one box to the other. As you can see, the number of boxes being shaded from top to bottom is decreased by one. Therefore, what is the next pattern in the sequence? Can you guess now? If your answer is number 3 in the choices, then you are absolutely correct. Now let's have the next set of patterns. In this one, what number comes next in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Looking at the given numbers, the sequence is increasing, with each term being 2 more than the previous term. 3 is equal to 1 plus 2. 5 is equal to 3 plus 2. 7 is equal to 5 plus 2. And 9 is equal to 7 plus 2. Therefore, the next term should be 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. And 11 is our next term. Now in this pattern, we have 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. What is the 8th term? Can you see the pattern now? If yes, what is your answer? Okay, let's have this one. The pattern would be first term added by the second term. Second term added to the third term. Third term added to the fourth term and so on. That's 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. And 3 plus 5 is 8. So what is the next term? The answer is 13. That's 5 
plus 8 is equals to 13. Very good! Are you ready for the next set? Here we go. We have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. What is the sixth term? Can you see the pattern now? If you do, what is your answer? I'll give you 10 seconds to answer that one. And your 10 seconds start now. Time is up. If your answer is 36, then you are correct. Very good. How did you get it? So here's the solution. Think of a number that you can add to 1 that would give you 4 as the answer. And that is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. Next, think of a number that you can add to 4 that would give you 9 as the answer. That's 5. 4 plus 5 is 9. Same. Think of a number that you can add to 9 that would give you 16 as the answer. That's 7. 9 plus 7 is 16. By that, you can see the pattern. You added 3, 5, 7 to the given numbers and that's obviously an increasing or consecutive even numbers. So next to 7 is 9, then 11. That's 16 plus 9 is 25. And 25 plus 11 is 36. So, the next term after 25 is 36. And that is now the answer, which is 36. Now it's your turn. What is the missing part in this pattern? You have 10 seconds to answer. And the answer is this one. Got it? Very good. Next is this one. Observe the pattern and analyze then comment your answer. Next, what are the three terms after 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25? Your answer is 30, 35, and 40. Then you are correct. How about this one? What is the rule for this pattern? 32, 36, 40, and 44. If your answer is add 4, then you are absolutely correct. Next, we have how many cookies will be on 5 plates? Kindly comment your answer. Before we are going to continue this tutorial, shout out to Engineer Irene Billiones and Engineer G. Renel Perez for sharing their materials and valuable insights in order for this tutorial be possible. In the next video tutorial, we are going to talk about symmetry and Fibonacci sequence. Hope you learned something today. See ya!